Dio here says, uh, Lawless is salty. He's worried about tomorrow and taking it out on Man United today. I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just being honest. Yes, you. you I think you're, you're, the I think you're, you're going to be a top heavy team at the moment. Until you get better players, you're going to be like Bielsa's Leeds. Do you know what I mean? You're going to have to outscore. <laughs> we're going to get, 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 rele we're gonna get relegated. Over. We're going to get relegated. In your opinion, then. Well, if that's what you, if that's what you want to say, well, I'd Bielsa's I mean, Leeds. Le they got relegated. Uh, do you think we get relegated like Bielsa's Leeds? No, I said you're like Bielsa's leads in how you're playing. You have to outscore teams. I said no, we're so not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. I, I, I just talked to you about by the way the second uh, second half. I just checked the stats. They they've generated nine percent xg yesterday. 0.09 xg. I said nine percent, but you know what I mean. 0.09 xg in that second half, where we had 0.77. We they, they factually yesterday, by the way, over exceeded their xg because we generated three xg and they created seventy percent. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. We have absolutely dominated them in the second half. And when Let's they see, got the goal, they did not Everett. create Let's anything. See. I'm sorry? I, 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 I really, and this, yeah, let's see if you do that against Everton. Because you couldn't no, do it against... See, see, this is what you do. I don't care about Everton. Everton is a different game. Just saying, I'll analyze that game separately. My point is that I was trying to praise the second half and the changes. Because we conceded two in the first half. And then you proceed to the second half to concede only 9, 0.9 XG. That just shows you that the manager adjusted... And he it worked, and he won the game. And as yes, I, I said, we should have scored agree. more. Like every, everything I said was not a lie. Like I'm just okay, telling you what but, happened. But, but what I'm saying is that's football. Like to say, oh yes, yeah, I know it is game, football. We took our chances, if but some maybes. Like I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, but that's no, the difference. Just, with, I have to talk this, about what this, I saw. This be honest. Where I have an issue. This, I'm just sorry. telling you what I saw. Man United fans saying, do that all the time. You did it against us. I don't know about all fans. Fans. No, all fans do it. All fans right. do it. That's a difference, right? There's a, there's re results based analysis, and then there's looking at the performance. And I want to ask Don this question. I know you didn't watch the game last night, but let me ask you mm. this question, Don. If your team. You've had games this season where you've won on the scoreline narrowly but battered your opponent, right? So do you believe yeah. that you can break do you believe you can break down the performance and the performance can be better than the scoreline? No, for sure. 100 percent There we 100%. go. That happens. Yeah, but I'm not saying, but what I'm saying is if you say, Don, oh well, we had this chance, this chance, if we would have took those chances, this would have been the score when the other team also had chances. So if they would have took their chances, what? you haven't even mentioned it. You haven't even, you, think, they didn't create chances. You haven't been able to describe what they don't know. They didn't do it. I was at my um I was at my Christmas party yesterday, yeah. So I couldn't actually watch your game properly, but I was with my boy who's a United fan, and we had it on for about 15 minutes in the first half. I think what Lulis is basically trying to say. Is it wasn't as comfortable as what Staffy's trying to make it out to be. The second half was done. That's what I'm trying to say. More engaging. No, but it, it wasn't towards the end. The second half is a whole 45 minutes. You're Again, in like the last 15 minutes, 25. what were their clear cut chances? They were. What were they doing to create those clear cut chances? Where were they? What do you mean? What What were they doing? They spent a lot of time. You said it's about getting to the edge of the box. Yeah. They got to okay. The edge of the box. Okay. Okay, they, but that, but, no, that isn't that isn't what we're talking about. We have said, yeah, said that, no, 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 no. You have had a go at Staffy for saying, if we'd have taken those clear cut chances, we'd have scored more goals. Okay, what you're saying about Bodo Glint is in the last 15 minutes they got to the edge of our box and did nothing. That is not the same thing. They 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 had shots in your. They got into your box. They had shots what? on goal. No, they didn't. You know, they didn't. Lulis, bro, let them have their little win now. They had their little win yesterday, you know what I mean? It took a little bit of, of a brace from Hoyland, who now all of a sudden is going to kickstart his career, you know what I mean? He likes I, the... I'm not going to lie, this is, this is extremely frustrating. Because for me to come out here for over a year to call out everything that's wrong with this team, and when they do something right, I can't call it call it out and say, you know what? Yesterday they had a good game. I don't. I, I just don't understand it. No, just, you can only talk about what we see in the game. He, he said, he's, what he's saying is, what he's saying is, if you're going to talk about United in terms of the chances that you created, also talk about the fact that the opposition also they had didn't, Don. You didn't watch the games. So I'm telling you, they didn't. They had one very good free kick, but you know, Don, you understand how XG clear works. Chance, clear XG chance. from a free kick is you're talking about like a three percent chance. That's what XG uh, you get from from a free kick. It was a good free kick and not a good save. That is not a clear chance. You're telling me you were comfortable. You're telling me you weren't under pressure. At no point did I think we're going to lose that game. Like chilling. 
in that second half, Lawless, at no point did I think we we're going to lose that game. I was actually frustrated that every time we went in front of goal, we weren't making the right decisions. Garnacho's taking a shot when he has Hoyland to the right of him and he passes them. That's an easy tap in. Instead, he takes a shot. He misses the target. That doesn't even count as a big chance. But I'm just telling you, with the eye test, you can look and see yeah. these are chances that Yoda scored they from. Rashford goes one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Two years ago, Rashford buries that. He hits it about five, ten yards away from goal. And you're looking at it you're like, how's that not even on target? These are just two examples both, of both, the amount of chances their, that he missed. Both, the their, both their shots in that last 15 minutes where Man United were under the cost. One was... It was inside the box, but it was basically on the line. The other was from the free kick. There was no clear-cut chances. They didn't break our back line. They didn't penetrate through it. They weren't peppering the goalkeeper and forcing crazy saves. And that, by the way, also came, chronologically, came after we had missed those other abundance of chances. And I think that the one thing I would say that's fair analysis is due to missing those opportunities, the ending of the game was nervous. But... We're doing this in chronological. There you go. You, hang on, no, 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 no. But this is again. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. It's always. And this goes back to the point I asked on about. If you batter a team for ninety minutes, but you're only winning one nil, that last five minutes is always nervous for every single team. That though, that nervous five minutes though does not undo your performance. And this is what people do to Man United all the fucking time. Is when we're just winning games. Everybody wants to focus on the performance and the performance and how did the game go and the stats and the metrics and is it sustainable? When you talk about the performance and how good things looked and how much better it could get if you fix the problematic areas and everything else. Yeah, but what was the score though? What was the actual result? And could it have gone the other way? The, the, the People speak out of both sides of their mouths. And on your Hoyland point, Don, mm -hmm. listen, forget trolls online, people not showing their faces. I stand by what I've always said about Hoyland. Create chances for him, he'll score goals. Do I think that he is Lionel Messi and he's going to create 15 goals a year for himself. No, I do not. But do I think that he could score, he scored 16 last year. So is it plausible in a team that cuts the ball back for him like we did yesterday, three or four times a match, that he could score 20, 25 goals in all competition? Yes. Because he was only four goals away from that last year and we were absolutely awful. To say that it's impossible for him to score more in a better system and in a better team that creates chances is crazy. However, anyone talking about how he's the greatest thing since sliced bread, I, I do agree. You need to calm down. I actually wanted to mention there, we spent more time arguing, I'm not going to lie, nonsense instead of me praising a couple of players <clears throat> that I wanted to mention. I wanted to mention Hoyland. <coughs> Excuse me. I wanted to mention Hoyland and I wanted to mention Mazraoui. Because Mazraoui, I'm not going to lie, he's looking like signing the season right now. For that yeah. map that we paid for him and the, consistent, the, the, consistency, the, the consistency that he gives every game. Mind you, we play him on the left, we play him on the right, we play him in the center, we play him in, this, in center back. We played him in about four different positions this season. And pretty much every game... To, uh, to East London, mate. Wasn't he supposed to uh, make, make his Sorry? way over? Yeah, no, yeah, they... thank you. They took they they took Erwin Bissaka, and I, I got an absolute Swiss knife that I could, no, that I, that I could pull. Let me just praise my player before you start arguing. Let me just praise him. Okay, but later you'll let you back argue. and praise him, Bissaka. I'll you let you be yes, salty in a second. Let me just praise my player. Okay. Absolutely amazing. This guy gives us a 7 or an 8 out of 10 every game. And honestly, if we had more Mazraouis in this team and we made more signings like him, we would definitely be a much better team. Because this guy, no matter what you ask him to do, he just knows how to do it. He, he, he probably doesn't have any attributes where he's a 10 out of 10 of, I'm not going to lie, or even 9 out of 10 of. But the fact that he can go and be solid and play consistent almost every game this season, absolutely amazing. And that assist for the Hoyland goal, the way he just skimmed, skipped by two, past two players, yeah. his touch, the weight of cross. And Hoyland, I'm not going to lie, you know I've been very critical of him last season, but I've been very quiet about him this year because I felt like a lot of times I didn't he didn't deserve the criticism that he got this year. I don't think he's amazing. But I've been very quiet on it because I was like, you know what? Let me see what Emerim does with him first. That goal that he scored, the second goal, it's, it, I'm not going to lie. The technique on that goal is much more difficult than it looks. To touch the ball with one foot, which is his left, hit it with his right, which is his weak foot, without the ball once touching the floor, that is an absolute amazing goal. And if you can keep this up and play that way and Emerim finds a way to generate more chances for him, we might have something there. He's not going to be anything amazing. But his conversion rate is actually ridiculous. So I'm going to give him some praise for that. I forgot what it is right now because about 20%. a month ago, his 20%, which is a lot. 20% is a lot for strikers. That's 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 more than what Haaland generates. You know what I'm saying? So those two goals, praise to him. And yeah. as I said, the first goal technically could have been him. He should have been on a hat trick. 
So we'll yeah. see if he can keep it up. But these I, two deserve a lot of praise. Just in the interest of time, because I've got another show to get to later, so I need to need to start getting through some of these subjects. Let's do these super chats here. It says, I'm a United fan, and to be honest, Bodo Glimp had a free kick, and Onana almost got caught with a back pass uh, near the end, which, which we mentioned. Yesterday was better, but still lots to improve on. I, I agree, still loads to improve on. Absolutely. But I would like to ask you a question back, Patrick. Are you not... Are you feeling... What's your gut telling you about it? I can tell by the reaction of rivals, their gut feeling is worry. Otherwise, they'd be laughing and not stressy. But there we go. Uh, Amarin will win less than Ten Hag in two years, Terry. We'll see how ugly hood rat. And then we'll we'll have a conversation about it as and when two years ends. Uh, Madwari is a great, great, great squad player. He's a great, great first team see player. See how he puts squad player? player. First He's been there this season, bro. Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put is that. Listen, you are hard pushed to find a better signing. Hard pushed to find a better signing in the Premier League this year. I, I just saw, I just saw, I just saw Guna in the chat trying to put Timber in there, right? Timber got signed last season, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I'm saying as, as a as a new signing this summer, th there might be some that are better, but they are not. No one is clear of of Mazza this year in terms of everything he's done. He he's been. Absolutely, Kapoor, bro, I told you guys, he's, he's, he's been a he's been amazing. Moving